Tonight we take you to Washington County where for more than 150 years a house standing on top of a hill in the city of Sandersville has been collecting unique stories and artifacts. 41 NBC's Kyle Warnke reports. In a very unassuming part of town, way out on the edge of the city, sits a very unassuming house. With a birthday of 1850, this home was not always what you see here today. Vandals came, stole furniture and things out of the Brown house. So by the time we got it in 1989 from the Brown family, uh, uh, it was in very bad shape. That we was the Historical Society of Washington County. And once the cobwebs were cleaned out and a fresh coat of paint applied, the home became the Brown House Museum. And what they found... People come from all over the United States to see this house. ...were generations worth of stories. It now houses Civil War artifacts in every room. Guns used in battle, the sword and sheath of Colonel Thomas Jefferson Worthen, and pictures of Washington County veterans. And with all those artifacts from the Civil War, the Brown House Museum also has another claim to fame. You've heard of General Sherman's march to the sea. Well, these are the steps he took to get there. He stopped at the Brown House one night, had himself a nap, ate some dinner, continued on his way to the coast. When he left, he made the orders to burn the jail and the courthouse. He did not burn other houses, didn't burn this house. Along with leaving the house intact, Sherman left other artifacts behind. This is the couch he napped on. This, the actual super teen he ate from at this very table. Perfectly intact, incredibly close to home. In Sandersville, Kyle Warnke, 41 NBC News. And if you know how someone is making Middle Georgia great, let us know about it. Send Kyle Warnke an email at kwarnke at 41nbc.com.